Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making pressure cooker beef stroganoff. All right guys, I'm starting out here with roughly a pound and a half chuck roast that I cut into bite-sized pieces in the beef chunks. I'm gonna start by seasoning this with a little salt and pepper. Now my pepper. Now this was a slow cooker recipe that I switched up to the uh, pressure cooker. So hopefully it turns out good. I'm going to put a little paprika on uh, chuck roast. And I got a big chuck roast. It was like three pounds, so I have a little bit left for a chuck roast meal, about a pound and a half of it. I'm going to go ahead and get in here with my hand and just blend everybody together. All right, now my six-quart electric pressure cooker I have preheated. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil in, just enough to coat the bottom of the pressure cooker pot. And I'm going to brown my chuck roast up in two batches so I don't get it overcrowded and it steams. I want to get it nice and brown on all sides. Okay, now that my chuck roast is all browned up, I still have a little bit of olive oil in the pressure cooker. I have a half of an onion I sliced really thin. I'm going to get that in there. And I have an eight ounce pack of sliced mushrooms. I'm gonna get these in here. And I'm gonna saute these for a few minutes until they start to soften up. Okay, now that my mushrooms and onions saute just for a few minutes, I'm gonna put my beef back in. And I'm gonna add in a 14 and a half ounce can of beef broth. I'm gonna add in a little more salt. Not a whole lot because the beef broth has salt in it. We salted the beef already. And I'm going to put a teaspoon of paprika in. And I'm just eyeballing that, guys. Let me give this a stir. Right, now I'm going to put my lid on the pressure cooker. Make sure I'm set on air tight. Now I'm going to set this pressure cook for 20 minutes, and then when the 20 minutes are up, I'll do a quick release of the pressure. All right, guys, my time's up, and I did that quick release. Now I'm going to add in a half a cup of sour cream, and I'm just eyeballing this. Just want to blend that in there good. Off of my spoon. And you just want to mix it in good so you don't have any. Uh, chunks of sour cream. I think what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to thicken this up with a little bit of cornstarch because it's a little bit on the runny side. So I'm going to turn my power back on, make a cornstarch slurry and dump a little bit in there. And once this starts to tighten up a bit, then we'll serve this up. Alright guys, this is thickened up to where I want it to be. This is ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. All right, guys, I served this over some white egg noodles. It'll also be great over rice or even mashed potatoes. Let me get in here and give this a try. I'll start with the beef. Guys, that's super tender and super flavorful. I'll get a mushroom here with a little bit of noodles. Well, I'll get a mushroom, then I'll get some noodles. Mm. Mushrooms are cooked through, but they're not mush. They have a nice firmness to them. And then that sour cream broth just finishes it up. That's really good, guys. All right, there you have it. Pressure cooker beef stroganoff. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see ya.